It's like the loudest gun out here. It's hilarious. Like, cannon, cannon, cannon. All right, YouTube, Tactical Tony702 here. I'm going to make a two-part video. First, I want to break down and take apart this uh, this Mosin Nagant. So it'll be an instructional on how to totally take apart your Mosin so you know uh, where you're at, what's going on with uh, taking this thing apart. So that's going to be the first part. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull back on this trigger and pull it to the side out. I'm gonna have to give you some higher. So you got your bolt out, set that to the side. Um, if you wanna know how to take your bolt apart out of the video on that, I'll put it in the Strip this down, this wood, uh, this lacquer, or whatever's on here. I'm gonna strip it down and then seal it with whatever color the wood is on it naturally. So, all right. So that's the first part. Then second part, what you can do is hit these right here. These little, these little things holding uh, these rings into place. Bam, pops off. There's one. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult because I had to bang this bitch on there. But um, this back one, I'm gonna be careful and stab myself in the head with a bayonet. But uh, all right. So there you go. See, so take those two rings off. Bam. Top part comes off. Girl should come right out of them. There you go. So the barrel should also come right out. Bam, so now you got your barrel. The bayonet here in this case, in the M44 case. Set this off to the side. I guess I can take it off the clean rod. So the clean rod, bam, out. everything's out. All you got is just your butt stock right here. Um, you can go ahead and take this metal plate off if you want to. I don't think you should. should. Just leave it on. I'm just leaving it on. All right, YouTube. I got some of this citrus strip right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get to stripping. So got all this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> Strong smell, kind of smells like. Try not to get in the way of the camera. Bumping the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, dang, this shit's kind of strong. Not ridiculously strong, but it's pretty strong. Alright, so I guess we got a little time lapse going or something. Alright, YouTube, so shout out to uh, Rebel Solutions. He's the one that uh, basically showed me how to do what product to use and how to strip this and everything like that. <clears throat> um, some citrus strip is what I think it was called, something like that. Uh, spray it on or whatever takes all that old lacquer laminate BS crap off strips it down back to its early stages when it was just a pup a baby pup of a tree and um, so <clears throat> I got this stuff right here um, but I gotta wait like a day or two for this to dry out some more but as you can see, it's put back together. It kind of looks kind of sexy this way. But, uh, yeah. Alright, after the first coat of tea oil, see how it starts to come out as I apply more and more coats. But this is the first coat. I don't know what you guys think. Alright YouTube, Tactical Tone here, 702, and this is basically about, I think this was two coats, <clears throat> it might have been three, but I'm pretty sure it was two coats, so I'm going to work on polishing up this 
stuff, not polishing it up, just cleaning it up. Well, actually, I don't know. I think I'm pretty much done. I pretty much cleaned up everything. And, um, this is probably going to lighten up still a little bit more as you give it a couple days. All that lacquer is gone, though. That was over it. It's all gone, stripped off. Shout out to Rebel Solutions. Check out his channel. Um, he's the one that basically taught me and showed me how to do this. So check out his uh, Mosin deal he's got going on on his channel. And that, uh, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's cool to learn stuff from people. Because I don't know nothing about woodworks. You know what I mean? But uh, I think it's coming out nice. It'll probably lighten up. I'll probably update it. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, you get all these pictures, like, the whole process. So this will be the video. I'll try to time lapse it or something. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. All matching serial numbers. All that nastiness. All is gone off there. Stripped off there. Uh, this is not stain. This is oiled, I guess. So sealed with teak oil. Um, I think it will still lighten up some thing as clean as a whistle. Okay.